prepare us our father to celebrate this eucharist this morning as it is our first the last the only eucharist let's begin this eucharistic celebration by signing ourselves in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all and, and with your spirit. spirit every ritual every religious service begins with purification and to purify ourselves we have the penitential rite requesting all of you now to keep your palms open close your eyes for the time lord i was lustful revengeful given to my temptations greed envy jealousy spiritual lethargy egocentrism let us ask god his angels and saints and the community gathered here for forgiveness as we say together i confess to almighty god and to all my brothers and sisters that i have greatly sinned in my thoughts in my words in what i have done and what i failed to do through my faults through my faults through my most grievous fault therefore i ask all the angels and saints and to all my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the lord our god let us now join our hands bow our heads and pray for god's mercy and compassion may almighty god have mercy on us all may he forgive us all our sins and lead us to life everlasting amen lord have mercy lord have mercy christ have mercy christ have mercy lord have mercy lord have mercy let us pray grant us we pray o lord perseverance in obedient to your will that in our days in the people dedicated to your service may grow in both merit and number through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reign in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen, amen. a reading from the book of numbers in those days from mount horeb the hebrews set out by the way to the red sea to go round the land of edom and the people became impatient on the way and the people spoke against god and against moses why have you brought us up out of egypt to die in the wilderness for there is no food and no water and we loathe this worthless food then the lord sent fiery serpents among the people and they bit the people so that many people of israel died and the people came to moses and said we have sinned for we have spoken against the lord and against you pray to the lord that he take away the serpents from us so moses prayed for the people and the lord said to moses make a fiery serpent and set it on a pole and every one who is bitten when he sees it shall live so moses made a bronze serpent and set it on a pole and if a serpent bit anyone he would look at the bronze serpent and live the word of the lord thanks, thanks be to god our response to the psalm o lord hear my prayer and let my cry come to you please repeat o lord, o lord hear lord, my lord, prayer and let my cry come to you o lord hear my prayer and let my cry come to you do not hide your face from me in the day of my distress turn your ear towards me on the day when i call speedily answer me response o lord hear my prayer and let my cry come to you the nation shall fear the name of the lord and all the earth's kings your glory when the lord shall build up sign he will appear in all his glory then he will turn to the prayers of the helpless he will not despise their prayers our response 
O Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. Let this be written for ages to come, that a people yet unborn may praise the Lord. The Lord looked down from his holy place on high, looked down from heaven to the earth, to hear the groans of the prisoners and free those condemned to die. A response, O Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. Kindly rise for the gospel. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. The seed is the word of God. Christ is the sower. All who come to him will live forever. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. When you lifted up the Son of Man, then you will know that I am He. Almighty God, cleanse my heart and my lips. I may worthily proclaim your gospel. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. The gospel according to Saint John. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Lord. Chapter 8, verses 21 to 30. At that time, Jesus said to the Pharisees, I am going away, and you will seek me, and you will die in your sin. Where I am going, you cannot come. So the Jews said, Will he kill himself? Since he says, Where I am going, you cannot come. Jesus said to them, You are from below, I am from above. You are of this world. I am not of this world. I told you that you would die in your sins. For unless you believe that I am he, you will die in your sins. So they said to him, Who are you? Jesus said to them, Just what I have been telling you from the beginning, I have much to say about you and much to judge. But he who sent me is true, and I declare to the world that I have heard from him. They did not understand that he had been speaking to them about the Father. So Jesus said to them, when you have lifted up the Son of Man, then you will know that I am He, and that I do nothing of my own authority, but speak just as the Father taught me, and who sent me is with me. He has not left me alone, for I always do the things that are pleasing to him. As he was saying these things, many believed in him. This, my dear brothers and sisters, is the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. All together, praise, praise, praise be to Jesus, now and evermore. Your word is a lamp for my feet and the light for my path. Please be seated. Today we have the two important imageries, the serpent that was lifted, the bronze serpent, and the people were healed and saved. And we have the Son of Man lifted up on the cross and giving us eternal life. Another two imageries that we have is the grumbling and gossiping of the people and Moses listening to them, interceding for them, and saving them from the disaster that the fiery serpent were beating the people and they were dying. And Moses interceded for people and as the Lord God told Moses, make a bronze serpent and put him on the flagpole and all those who look at him will be saved. 
the same imagery today Jesus is taking in today's gospel. The unbelieving and gossiping and grumbling Jewish community against Jesus and Jesus is trying to explain to them the mystery of God. They did not understand like the Egyptian, like the people, the Hebrew people were on their migration to their promised land. And Jesus says, just like the Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so will be the Son of Man lifted us on the cross. And all those who look at the cross will have eternal life, will have life. Prophet Isaiah will say, by his wounds we are healed. And my dear friends, we profess and we preach Jesus Christ crucified. This is also very important for all of us to defend the Catholic faith when people say about the imageries, statues. Here directly the book of Numbers is telling us, make a fiery serpent of the bronze and put it on the flagpole and you will be saved. So we require imageries, we require statues. Those are a signpost for us to go to the invisible God. Colossians 1.15, I end with that. Jesus is the image of the invisible God. May we experience Jesus as our personal saviour and healer. Just close your eyes now and pray for all of us that we stop gossiping and grumbling and start appreciating everything that God has given us with gratitude. We also make a commitment today during this Eucharistic celebration that today onwards we will spread the gospel, not the gossip. I repeat again, today onwards we will spread the gospel, not the gossip. Lord, we also pray for all those who celebrate their birthdays, anniversary days, all those who are going through difficult times in this Eucharistic celebration. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through goodness we have this bread to offer which earth has given, human hands have made, which will become for us a bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, the goodness we have, this wine to offer which earth has given, human hands are made, which will become for us a spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to be pleased with the sacrifice we offer with humble and contract heart. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from all my sins. Together with this bread and wine, Lord, we also offer our frustration, our anger, our resentment, our gossip, our grumbling. Transform us into forgiving, enduring, self-sacrificing spirit of Jesus. Pray, dear brothers and sisters, my sacrifice and yours may be accepted to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the mysteries we have received, O Lord, bring us heavenly medicine that they may plunge into the evil from the, our heart and strengthen us in eternal protection through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and, and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord, Holy Father, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. For through the saving passion of your Son, 
the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty since by the wondrous power of the cross your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of christ crucified and so we join the angels and saints in proclaiming your glory as we all together acclaim the power of the spirit go to transform these gifts of bread and wine into the body and blood of jesus let us pray for self transformation in this eucharistic celebration you are indeed holy o lord the fountain of all holiness and wholeness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your holy spirit upon them like a dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at whose command we celebrate this eucharist when he was at supper with his disciples he took bread in his sacred hands he gave you thanks and praise he broke the bread gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it this is my body which will be given up for you When supper was ended he took the chalice once more giving thanks gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant it will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me At the presence of Jesus on this altar with profound faith we proclaim when we eat this bread and drink this cup we proclaim your death o lord until you come in therefore we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life the chalice of salvation giving thanks to you that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray the partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the holy spirit lord remember your church spread throughout the world pray for the universal church together with francis our pope oswald gracious our bishop all the auxiliary bishops the clergy and all your lay faithful people remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection pray for all our dearly departed relatives family members gone before us and all those who died in your mercy welcome them in the light of your face have mercy on us all present at this eucharistic celebration that with the blessed virgin mary mother of jesus and our mother the blessed apostles saint joseph and all the saints who have done evil throughout the ages may merit to be co heirs of eternal life may praise you and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever amen with confidence in our heavenly father Let us now keep our palms open close our eyes that God's kingdom may come and reign in our hearts as we say together Our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven and give us this day our daily bread 
and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil and graciously grant us peace and unity and the help of your mercy that we may always be freed from sin and from all distress and await the blessed hope of the coming of our savior jesus christ kingdom the power the glory are yours now and forever now pray for peace and serenity lord jesus christ you set your apostles peace i leave with you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who lives and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord jesus be with you all and, and with your spirit let us offer each other a meaningful sign of peace Lamb, Lamb of God, God you, you take, take away, away the sins of the world, world. Have, have mercy, mercy on us. us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy, mercy on us. us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Pray for divine healing and fidelity to Jesus, the divine master. Lord Jesus Christ, son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to this world by your holy body and blood. Free us from all our sins, from every evil. Keep us ever faithful to your teaching, Lord. Never let me depart it from you. Grant all of us gathered here physical, mental, emotional, spiritual health and well-being. This is Jesus, the divine healer. This is Jesus, the way, the truth, and the life. The Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and I, my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to those who receive it with faith. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. We now make our spiritual communion with the Lord. O oh Lord Jesus. Since I cannot now receive you in your sacramental presence, I beg you to come spiritually into my soul, to enrich me with your holy grace, and make me truly your own forever. O Jesus, living in Mary, come and live in me, in the spirit of your holiness, in the fullness of your power, in the communion of your mysteries. in the perfection of your ways o divine guest give to my soul a strong lively faith an unbounded trust perfect humility an abiding sorrow for my sins a total abandonment to your divine will and a perfect loving union with you in mind and heart o sacrament most holy o sacrament divine All praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Lord Jesus, thank you for the blessings and graces you have given me through this spiritual communion. Let's pause for some time. Let's experience the divine presence of Jesus in our midst. Make a commitment today that we will spread the gospel not the gossip we will stop grumbling and start appreciating everything around post communion antiphon all i want to know is jesus christ and the power of his resurrection philippians chapter 3 verse 10 Let us pray. Grant we pray almighty God that ever seeking what is divine we may always be worthy to approach 
these heavenly gifts through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. Father is infinite goodness and unconditional love is only begotten Son Jesus the power of his grace and the communion of the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. This Eucharistic celebration is over. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Show me your ways, O Lord. Lead me in your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me. You are my God. Oh, show me your ways, O Stay.